Welcome back. Today's video will be a bit different than what I normally put out, but it's something I feel has to be addressed. The problem I will describe will of course not be exclusive to the electric lightning as or the scimitar, but I will mainly focus on these two because they make a very clear picture. The problem I'm talking about is having insane performance, because we all know the, the acceleration, the top speed, the retention, all of these things are insane for the BR. 8.7s cannot hang with the lightning. In the same way that 7.7s cannot hang with the scimitar. The problem is that the scimitar and the lightning are so awkward to get guns on people that they don't get a lot of kills. And because they don't get a lot of kills, they, they run. They die. The stats go down. And we all know that Gaijin really likes balancing stuff on player based stats. So you get these planes that can do whatever they want, be untouchable, but they also can touch the enemy. And this makes for a very annoying dynamic where you can't engage the enemy properly and the enemy can't really kill you in return. This is annoying for the fighting party as well as the party that's flying it. Some people enjoy this, yes I know, but looking for a gameplay perspective, it is simply not fun. And we had a very similar problem back in the day when they made the B-57A and the Canberra, the ones without guns, 7.7. And... If you imagine that you're flying a 6.7 or a 7.0, because down tiers to those BRs at 7.7 back then were very common. And then think about what you can do. Not much. He can just run and you're not going to touch him. You're not going to catch a B-57 in your Mark 24. And I always, always think that you should balance stuff by the lowest BR they can fight. Because I don't think that 8.7s or 7.7s should face these two planes. It's simply, it's not fair. And again, the B-57, is it gonna kill you? No. So that means it's not a problem, right? No. Because I really think that if someone can just run forever, and there's literally zero chance you're gonna catch it. Just no chance. Unless, of course, he screws up, and this happens fairly frequently. But I don't want to look at the player base that's flying this thing. I want to look at the plane performance that's making it unbalanced. Because yes, I died a lot on this plane. And that's because I didn't play to my strengths. Of course, I can climb to, to 10 kilometers and start boom and zooming people. But I don't have time for that stuff. And yes, I suck major balls with this plane. Let's get that out of the way so you don't have to put it in the description. Because I'm aware that I can fly this thing. The problem is that it's simply not fair. And that's why I'm making this video as well as on the scimitar. I, I flew both of these planes quite a bit. The scimitar went a lot better than this thing because it's a lot more wieldy. The... Lightning, getting guns on people that are paying attention, it's virtually impossible. And again, this drops the stats. And the lower the stats go, the lower the plane drops. Everyone was complaining about the F-104. And then they raised it. Everyone's like, yay, it's gone. And then they dropped this thing to 9.7. You didn't fix anything. You just switched the problem. Now the F-104 is getting clapped. Everyone's happy with it. But now the Lightning is kind of like just running around doing nothing because... In terms of plane effectiveness in a match, this thing is not effective. And of course, you're looking at me flying with one elevator, which doesn't really help. And this is just some burner footage, because I just didn't get much good footage with it. I just kept getting missile. And yes, again, I'm, I'm screwing up. I'm not very patient in this thing. I, I just want to strangle a kitten when I fly this. Because just the gun placement, as well as the awkward roll, the, the AOA it pulls, the speed it bleeds... It just, it, it doesn't feel like a plane. And I still think that it's better off being completely useless at 10.0. Well, it's not even that useless. I'd rather have it be bad at 10.0 and broken at 9.7. And it is broken. It is broken. Even though I'm saying it's not effective, even though I say it's not good, it is still a broken plane. If you were to lose one of your engines, you will still push 1200 kilometers an hour on the deck. With half your trust, half your performance. When you're fighting planes that can barely maintain 1000, which is insane. Wh who designed this? It's 9.7. The other fastest plane goes about 1160. Where, where does this thing tie in? This thing counters everything that's fast, but not by killing it. They're just flying around doing nothing. And don't come around with the Britain suffers excuse, because even if it did, if it did kind of suffer, would it be fair to get a completely broken plane at a higher BR then? But that aside, that's enough of a rant. I hope that you, I, that you see what I, where I'm coming from. Because the plane itself just doesn't make sense. And I just don't, I don't like flying it. I don't like fighting it. And some people love this thing. But I, I really think that this thing should go up a BR. 
to 10.0. And of course, the biggest problem with this uh, battle rating is, well, that it's just too compressed. But the fact that it's compressed and it is not getting less compressed is not going to change anytime soon. A very quick fix would just move this thing up to 10.0. Move the scimitar to 9.3. And yes, the scimitar at 9.3 won't be a good plane. It will still outrun the F5. It will still out-accelerate the F5 if it keeps like a shallow little climb. But is it fair at 8.7? No. I really think that the lowest BR it can face should be balanced. In a full down tier, can a scimitar or can... What is it called? Can an F-89, we all agree that that thing should burn in hell, but can an F-89 do anything against the Scimitar? No. LA-15 against the F-2 Sabre, can it do a lot? No. But it does have some advantages. And it's not just the fact that it can outturn them. And sure, the F-2 Sabre is a lot better than the LA-15, but they're in the same league. They can fight each other. If one or the other screws up, they can kill each other. And for the Lightning to be killed... By a G91 R3. Do you have to, you have to realize how hard the lightning has to screw that up? It's it's simply it's it's not fair. And I'm just turning into a broken record at this point because I just don't have much else to say. It has too much performance, but it's still useless in a match. So I don't expect this thing to drop because it's just like the F104, the F104 was a lot better at killing the game. But this thing is better than the F104 at running. This thing is better than the F104 at climbing. Is it fair to put that at a lower BR? The only problem this plane has is the fact you can't really get guns on people. The missiles are pretty good. But they're very low range. And uh, I shot it a bit too late, a bit too early. If I had shot that a bit later, that missile probably would have tracked him and probably would have killed him because he didn't have enough time to dodge. Again. That's me screwing up. That's not the plane. So yeah, I've been thinking about making a video on the scimitar and a video on this thing. And I've been kind of thinking about what I should do. And I think this is my answer. I, I simply cannot enjoy these planes. So I cannot cover them. So I want to at least let you know that I won't be covering them and why. Because it's just, it's so annoying to play. Getting a plane with this much performance, this much potential. And not being able to use it is extremely frustrating. Of course, the flight characteristics, again, the AOA on paper. Yes, on paper, this thing is absolutely amazing. In practice, in a team fight, when it's not 1v1 maybe, and even if it's 1v1, if someone sees you in this thing and you don't have missiles, you're not going to kill them. And it's the same with the scimitar. Unless, they, of course, they, they pitch up straight after you and they, they stall themselves out so you can roll over and kind of just shoot them while they're hanging in place. But how often does that really happen? Also, this thing is hideous. Go, for feel, uh, go feel free to dislike me uh, for saying that. But I really think this thing should uh, go down in BR. Or go up. No, no, don't, don't go down. Watch guys and listen to the go down and then make it 8, 9.3. Some guy said I couldn't land planes because I never put them in my video. So I'm too scared to show you. And unironically enough, you're right. Yeah, I actually, <laughs> I actually died. Well... I hope you enjoyed a little rant. I will be making some uh, some guides here relatively soon. Crew points as well as some settings. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all very soon.